Welcome, welcome everyone. This is Shadow Drake and uh let's uh continue Let's continue on. So, first things I'm gonna do Ooh, it's a new galactic metallurgy. Just gonna go on ahead and you know what, let's just send both. Pretty sure essential. Go home. Did I just glitch them so bad he's not going home? Alright, I guess I gotta go fix him. Alright, listen, Build Inc. You are free to go home. Alright, first things first. Yes, yes. I know. Mining trip. But this mining trip is going to be one for Isis. So let's go get some Isis. In particular, I'm gonna need some some water. I might as well get this water right here. Cause it occurred to me, I never really did program the ice. Uh, not the water. The yeah, the water. Uh, the water thing. Let's get some volatiles and nitrites. Because I need to keep mixing more fuels. I need to keep getting more nit. Uh, nitrous oxide. It just needs to keep going. And I need to get more water because I need to build up a heat sink. I'm going to have so much nitrogen, it's going to be kind of crazy. Like, what am I going to do with all this nitrogen? Could I just actually just start making a pneumatic drill and just start pressurizing it with nitrogen? That seems to be about the only thing I can do with it. I might have to remove some of this uh, nitrice because I don't want it to be so heavily pressurized that it that I have problems. I'm also trying to be careful. I don't want to crush my head again. Obviously, I have some PTSD from this experience. You know, thinking about it, I might as well get a little bit of oxides too. Just get a little bit of everything. Let's just do that. A little bit of everything. Need to get more volatiles than this though. I got plenty of water. I will need oxides because I gotta make a breathing mix of air. And I honestly did think about possibly just making a uh, There we go. That's all I'll get for that. Just dig up. <laughs> you can tell I have PTSD. Alright, let's find some uh volatiles found some volatiles. But yeah, these ices are just going to be used to kind of keep filling up my um, tanks. I gotta get... I gotta eventually just do like a big old... Just like a big old bag of volatiles. But, you know, part of the reason I'm, I need the nitrous is because I do need to get the NOS fuel. I want to get the other, uh... The other centrifuge... system going. It's a good thing I made a hole already. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Getting shorter and shorter, these mining trips.
There we go. That way. I actually debated if the goal for this trip was just to be just to get the nitrous fuel going, but I think I need to continue working on the on the generator room. And so I'm gonna go on ahead and load this up, see how well it goes. Oh, and uh, and I sell you. I don't have. I just have. Gold. I don't have anything to sell to you, but I can. I can hold you hostage for a little bit. Okay. I gotta get a trader down there and fix it. That's probably why, why he just didn't leave. a lot of fuel, though. And the sun turns on. Alright, got it. Ugh, still stressed. Still got a little bit too much. I really gotta keep an eye on how much that is and lengthen this. I gotta lengthen this some more. Where is the damage pipe? There's a damage pipe somewhere. I know there is. Oh, there's one. That might be the only one. That might be the only one. Okay, let's fix you up and replace you. Alright, so that's good that that is at 40. Getting the oxygen up there. CO2 is pretty hot. Alright. Alright. That'll work. Okay, so last I recall, I was in here trying to get these set up. And this is all going to be kind of like a tricky situation with this. So let's see. I had a door right there. Do I need to go this far out? Yeah, I probably do. tough thing is I have to really, really plan out how exactly I'm going to do this. So I'm going to need a lot, of, a lot more insulated piping. Because I might as well go on ahead and get this set up. I need some pressure regulators and insulated piping, so let's see. actually wondering about this. I wanted to put a normal tank right here and let it go out to the waste. I think that's kind of what I want to do. But I think this door needs to be relocated. It's a wrench that does it. 
problem is... I suppose I can put it right here instead. Because I want to put a normal, in a normal tank for the waste to go out too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eight canisters. I need a utility pipe. I need pressure regulators, and I need more stuff. Let's see if I can get the uh, fuel tank out here. for me. Okay. And then I need to curve this this way. One sec. All right, back. Okay, so... And I'll keep that for now. I need some more insulated piping. The problem is I might need to make some more. Which might require some more mining. Which... Is an unfortunate thing, but eh, it happens. Okay, so I'm... Pushing less and less thermal energy in here. Which is good. Because that's almost under 60. 70 degree water. Turn that off. This works. This is working surprisingly well, I'm, I might add. really don't need this. Oh well. We'll fix it later. I gotta call down somebody and fix that guy anyways. Alright, so let's see what I would need to do. I need to get some more building materials. I'm gonna need some walls soon. A lot of heavy cables. So let's get heavy cables. Let's get some normal cables. Let's get more heavy cables. Let's get some walls. I'm at. I need more steel sheets. Alright. Let's go insulated pipes. Okay, that's two. All right, let's call somebody down. We gotta fix our broken guy. No more housings, so I need some housings. I'm trying to think what else I'm gonna need. I don't think I need shoots for the time being. How are my eggs doing? Uh, still got two hours. I got some pipes right here. What am I doing? Running low on steel, so I need to buy steel and put that in there. As far as the icy housings, I think I'm going to need three. 
one for the airlock, one for the battery control, and one for the GFGs. Maybe one for the Sterlings, I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't I really don't know about that one. I don't need this door kit right here anymore. I see tens. Why aren't you resetting? Thank you. Alright, got it. So what I want to do, without a doubt, is right here, have this right here, since this is the output. Oh, that's that, okay. That always scares me when it does that. And I want to do this output. And what I'm going to do is remove some of these. This is actually... This is going to add a little bit more volume to that. It's also going to mean that i got to be extremely careful about what I do with... Uh, plan for it. Whatever, I can plan for it. It's going to be a volume pump that'll go down here. Alright, perfect. Removing that. Will this shut again? The only reason I want this is because uh, looks like I'm going to need yet another chip. I want to control this such a way that it will not. I feel like there should have been something there. There we go. I want to control this in such a way that this volume pump will pump this out when it hits like 4 megapascals or something like that. And the only reason I have this uninsulated is because I honestly want that to kind of chill out. So let's go ahead and control this. Connect this. Because I need to connect the GFGs, all the Sterlings together with my battery system. to finish this up because I need to know exactly where the okay see that that right there I needed to know that data which means I cannot connect this like that Because I need to keep the data and the power completely separate. So what I want to do... But I can't do that. Mm -hmm. This is where I'm going to run into an issue. This one right here. Uh, 
Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna have it go across the top. That's gonna be the only non-clean looking one. Or I don't have to hook it up. I could just not care. I should. Actually, I should hook it up because I need it to be on. This one backwards? This one is backwards. What in the f how did I do this? That is so hilarious to me. I don't know how I got that one backwards up. Be honest with you. Alright. That's all the power connections. So this one and that one are going to be the only ones that are going to be weird. This one's gonna need... So that's the input. That's the input. Perfect. Okay. thing that needs to happen is this waste pipe it needs to be connected to the GFGs as these go up. But I need to know a ceiling. How did that happen? There. Now I know a ceiling. Like I still need more piping. Because what has to happen is this needs to go up. Because this is the first one in the whole series. This one needs to connect to that. And those need to connect. So I'm going to need to get... Eight canister, insulated pipes, more insulated pipes. Why is that one red? I must be out of materials. Oh, right. I needed some gold.
Grap have probably just fed this some hot volatiles. That's not good. Whatever. There's enough volatiles in here that'll keep it cool. Okay, so I need more insulated pipings. I need a lot more steel. All right, you fixed my robot. You're let's make that. I need some money. I might as well make that. I have plenty of those materials. And that steel I just bought is going to be in the other one, isn't it? Oh, I wish those could process a little bit faster than what they are, but, uh, it is what it is. It's like I eat less and less muffin the more filled I am. That's odd. Ooh, nebula nuggets. Thing went the wrong way. I do also got to start planning out the whole canister fill rates and all of that stuff. away my pressure regulators, but I do need one of those. You need to be up here. I thought Nebula Nuggets was, uh... That got worse? I went the wrong way. I have not gone for mon a money run in quite some time. Alright, so let's do utility pipe gas. Oh, I'm gonna run out of iron. Well, it's a good thing I got some iron in there to cook.
Because I'm pretty sure Nebula Nuggets was, uh... Pretty sure that was Alloys. I do come up, I do, I do need to come up with the logic so that I can just, like... Tell... Push, push a button to reset the thing, or tell it that it needs to expel, or whatnot. I forgot my air tank. Oxygen low. Oxygen critical. Low pressure. <laughs> That's gonna work for a while. I take exactly what I learned about the whole Sterlings on uh, Vulcan. Oh no, you're just poor. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to sell stuff to the other guy. Really? It's a wrench. Alright, let's place you first. Then I can place you. Then I can place you. With a wrench. I think I need exactly, I would say, so, my concern is, <sighs> this is just too cold, I need to go do this inside, I need to remember to go do my math, because I, what I fear is that I think about, I get about 3000 Celsius, in um in the tank and I need to do some math. So I need to stabilize this to see what that pressure will be. So if it's 10.2 moles, let's see, 10.2 mole at 10 Celsius is 375K, 10 Celsius is 283K. So I need to find out how much it takes to get to uh one sec, let me go do this math. 
Okay, so it looks like about 22 and a half moles is what I need to have to be safe for that. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna need more iron. If I remember right, yep, I'm gonna need more iron. Good news is, I can make more iron. Oxygen low. So I need 22 and a half moles. And then I think I'll just step it up by maybe 5 moles per. That should be enough. Oh, went too far. Overshot it. So let's do 27 moles and that'll be in the second step. There we go. You'll go right here. <laughs> okay, let's get some iron and let's smelt it. So. Because I need to make some more. empty. That's already paying out some dividends. I probably should hook that up to fuel so that I don't... so that I don't just... to disconnect this liquid input pipe because the last thing I want to do is completely forget that I have this in there and then I will just literally throw liquid pollutants in my water and that will just be bad because then I'll actually have to build a distillation system to get that working where is my data pad and you know what spell it Space. Okay. I don't think I need these anymore. I didn't put that volume pump in yet. So I need one, two, three. I got four. I need to make another four. But I don't have enough space, so I'm going to go deal with that. Okay, let's go deal with that. Let's go drink. Let's drink a little bit of water, because I'm going to get thirsty. And it's storming. Mmm. <clears throat> Of course it's storming. And I don't want it to storm in storms. Storms will complicate everything, so I guess gotta continue doing some. Now. Gotta continue doing some piping. So 
one thing I gotta do. Oh, come on. I need to put a one-way valve right here. Come on. And connect that over there. But I don't want to do that just yet because it will apparently... exchange so I, I kind of want to do that once I am more set up like I'll add that pipe last I kind of want to put the handler for these batteries. Hmm. Right here, actually. set. I want to get the airlock handler right there. GFG handler right here somewhere. I haven't quite decided that yet, though. The thing is, though, I really, really want to have... Where's my power controller? I want to get a power controller coming from my batteries. reason I'm trying to do glass walls is because I kind of want I want to be able to see inside what's happening, you know? And I think I will do the GFG handler inside as well. And so... 
what's going to get a little quirky is that I have to do quite a lot of cabling. Like, I want to get this... Like this. So... All these connected like so. That's not going to work up there. Actually, that will. No, that won't for this. That hooks all of those cables together. But now I need to hook these lights together. where a lot of the cabling is going to happen because this, oh, come on, needs to cable over. floors because I'm going to get tired of falling through them. Okay. Alright. So what's going to end up happening, and this is going to be a very big job, is that I have to connect this, ca this cable going to have to connect to my circuit house housings. Let's just put the last one here. Where did it go? Oh no, it was over there. I put it over there. One, two, three. It's going to connect to all three of these circuit housings. These doors, which I think I need to go on ahead and finish this one.
It's gonna connect to that door too. And that one as well. Got it. So then it's twenty seven, then I guess it'll be. 30, so 27, 32, let's do 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, that way, 27, 32, 40, 45, 50, 50, yeah, so 37's next, no, it's 32, It's going to struggle towards the end. Okay, got thirty four. I wonder if the volume pump would have been faster for this. Probably way too fast. Forty. Forty five. This has to keep filling up. The fact that that's over one kilogram is insane. I just actually borrow that volume pump, I use the volume pump. Dang. So I need more pipes. Not as many pipes. I will need to start falling off the place, though. What was I at? 40, 45, so I need 50. I'm being extremely careful. I can pre I can probably fill these even more than that. Hunger 
Caution. Alright, I'll go caution. Okay, let's make another two stacks of insulated pipes because I think I'm going to need build inks, actually. If I have them. And I don't. these on there. Oh, I'm waiting. I do need to get some cabling done from over there. Because what needs to happen is I need to get these, this data cable, and I kind of screwed myself over right there. Okay. I delete that one. There we go. So what needs to happen is all the data cables need to actually come out here and go in there. I need to pull all of these batteries to see just how how they are. That way I can tell the uh,
fix that on the other side. Finish piping the uh, sterlings. Oxygen low. Filter low. My filter is not low. Things are not going to work great because of how cold it is in here. I need to f be able to weld up the floor, weld up the room, close off everything before they can work. But before I can do that, I need to get all of these data connections connected. And I can make them go straight up into the ceiling. Because what I intend to do... to do this so if I put wait aren't I supposed to actually weld you It's weird how that's actually blocked by that. That's what I wanted at this whole time. So, this is all going to be monitor. Once this room gets a little bit too hot, I'll probably have some gas sensors here. Here. And back here to monitor the state of the room. If it gets too hot that these GFGs are going to quit functioning, I'm going to open all of this to let air in. Then I'm going to close them in once they kind of get a little bit too low. That's how I intend to cool everything down. That sounded like a centrifuge. I guess it wasn't. Ah, 
they're actually clearing it out a little bit. Eventually, I'm actually going to have to start building more deep miners. Okay. With that in, in place, this is where all of the data, all, I think I'll have the wires literally smack dab all over the ceiling. A lot of cables and walls. I should take care of those. Mm. Odd thing is, with that up there. This one fits a lot better up here. Or is finding a common ground for these all to go loop to. 
Like, I can get this one. But, I, you know, this one can't go across here. These can both go together. I'm going to need build ink, all right. Connects all of those together. It's going to be the same thing for these. Honestly, I think it's better if I just connect all of these together right here to that one cable. one and hope for the best. I can't believe these are actually generating a little bit of power. So that kind of works. I gotta get those connected, those connected, and then I gotta get all of this connected on the ceiling, and then I gotta completely block it, block everything off, and connect it. I actually got a little bit of power out of it. That's actually kind of interesting. So I got something working now. That's that's good. It's going to take a while before I can finally get all of this closed up and everything, but one thing I do need to do is I need to close this up and get this as an airlock. Close this off too. I think I got to work on it all sequentially because I need to get that entire room closed off. 
and have an airlock this airlock chip control and guide everything but I need looks like I'm gonna need three sensors so I gotta build those and then I think I'm gonna have to call it right here and uh, I need build ink because I'm gonna need more cables and it looks like I might actually need to make some money because I don't have enough do I have build ink over here Please, 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 please. <sighs> Unfortunately, no. This is a slight problem because I'm out of cable coils again. So I'm just going to have that build a bunch of cables again. Oh. <sighs> Well, it looks like next time we're going to have to do some more cabling. Worst case, I have to actually build cables. I really don't want to build cables. Really, really don't want to build cables. You know what? I haven't eaten mushrooms in a while. Did y'all miss me? Alright. So next time, we're just gonna continue walling off that area. It looks like I might need to call Build Ink because I don't think that I'm gonna have anywhere near enough walls and stuff to get this all completely done. Definitely won't have enough cables. I have plenty of heavy cables. I bought so many of them. So, yeah. Oh. Hope you had a good time and hope. Oh. Nope. Uh oh. What in the flip just happened there? Hope you had a good time and, uh. Hopefully, next time we'll try to square that away because it seems like all my centrifuges are just going to keep on chugging along. Alright, plenty more to come and I hope you have a good have a good rest of the day and good night.